All right, so here we are back in the shop. We have the Toyota Echo power steering pump that we got out of the pull apart. And uh, I'm gonna show you what we need to do to use the internals for our Hemi swap. So first thing you're gonna do is take the high pressure discharge line, the hard line coming out. You could do this in the fields, whatever works best for you. And get the high pressure line out of the way just like that and now you'll see the the jam nut the retaining nut we're going to get this guy off usually I'll use an impact with uh, I think it's a one inch uh, this is one and a sixteenth sorry socket you put it directly on like this and back it out okay so she'll come out and what you'll see is almost like a banjo style fitting it has o-ring on the back it's got your passage ports directly right here. You're going to set this aside. And now we're going to look internally. So the internal relief valve and plunger assembly in here, it is non-magnetic, magnetic in most cases. So if you try to get in here and pull it out, it won't come out. But uh, what we're doing is just turn the unit upside down and try to get this so to come out <laughs> by any means necessary. So, what we're going to do now is we'll lay this all out for you. Here is your residual spring that holds your, uh, like your initial pressure on your valve, plunger assembly, and you have the backing part. So, what I was mentioning earlier in the yard is if you look on the plunger assembly itself, the high pressure relief valve, uh, there's actually a engraved laser engraved letter on the valve itself. So we're going to get Mike to come in and zoom in on this. Okay. I've got to pick it up and go. Yep. Right. Can you see it? That is a D. That's a D. So that denotes the pressure rating. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our test mule, the orange car, the CUDA. We're going to pull that valve assembly out. We're going to put them side by side note the differences, and then install the new lower pressure unit into that power steering pump. All right, so here we are on the DIY Hemi Cuda. Uh, we're going to show you what we're gonna do to modify this one. This is the stock Hemi pump that came on this engine. Uh, one thing that we're gonna notice is right here on the high pressure boss, you'll actually see the exact same cast uh, words Toyota right here, T-O-Y-D-A, or O-D-A, right here. So it's the same pump, more or less. There's a few minor differences. We'll go ahead and take off the high pressure line. Then we can get to the high pressure relief valve. So on this one, it looks like the difference that is it doesn't have the reservoir hooked up right on to That's the right. actual pump. So the reservoir typically takes this place here, and what you can do is uh, undo this bolt, put a reservoir on, but it doesn't really have the same uh, layout. So you'll see the reservoir will be tilted far too much to one side or the other, which can be a pain in the butt. So I'm going to lay this guy down. and hopefully get this fluid to stop leaking somewhat. Just enough to get the impact socket on the base of it. All right, so that's there. All right, so we use a one and a sixteenth impact socket. We're gonna go ahead and Pull this high pressure port off if we can. I don't know if it'll fit with the impact in here. And it won't. So I'll be right back. Let me get a ratchet. Alright, so we just have a 1 and 1 16th socket. Again, that'll fit on the boss. We're going to pull that major boss out. Be really careful because it will want to jump. Being that it's spring loaded.
Drain these all to the shop. Okay, so here we have the two internal sets compared side by side. Closest to you will see the internals of the Echo, which was rated uh, around 800 PSI, give or take, a little bit over 800 PSI. And this is the internal set from the 2006 uh, Charger Hemi. So they're both Toyota-based power steering pumps. You'll notice the Echo has D laser engraved on the relief plunger whereas the Hemi has F, so it's a little bit higher pressure set. I want to say this is closer to 1200 PSI, and again, this is you know, in the 8s right here. The only thing lower from the Toyota set that I've noticed out there is the early 2000s MR2 Spider convertible, that coupe. Um, they had uh, in the upper 700 PSI, which is really good for your old Mopars, but it's not necessary. You'll just have a little bit better road feel, a little bit tighter steering. Uh, the Echo is more available in the salvage yard, so we decided to go with it. And what we're going to do is, instead of having this assembly in the Hemi power steering pump, we're going to completely replace it with these guys. One thing to note is on the Hemi power steering pump, they use an, we use an adapter to go to a Dash 6 braided and Teflon lined uh, hose. This is a 16 millimeter um, O-ring fit, power steering fit to a Dash 6AN on your echo you're going to need an inverted flare i believe it's a half inch inverted flare to a dash six an so it's a little bit of a different fitting here the adapter fitting but that's all you need to take away from this all right so we're going to go ahead and install the d valve first thing we're going to do is slide it over and put the plunger assembly in and go in Thread this guy in. We'll give it a snug. And put our power steering line back on. did run all of our fluid out doing this so what we're going to have to do is fire it up we're going to make sure that our power steering fluid gets back into the system it's all primed up and then we should notice an immediate response difference in the uh, the steering it should be a little bit stiffer it should have just a, a better road feel to it and that's what you should see in just a minute so Blake all of this is to reduce the amount of pressure I guess that's running through your high pressure line. Correct. And that is, is that because most of your, I guess, your systems for your older vehicles are not, you know, made for that higher pressure? That's correct. So right here, the power steering box on most of these older Chryslers hits their upper limit around a thousand psi. Now that's pretty vague, um, and I have a couple different theories on that. One is. The older C bodies actually are a little bit higher. Uh, they're closer to like 1100 or so, 1200, because it's just a bigger car and it requires bigger force, more input, more assistance in the power steering. So we've actually been running it with the factory relief valve from the Hemi, no problems for uh, several, several months now. Lots of miles, I'd say over 600 miles on this build. No leaks, no issues whatsoever. And what I can attest that to is this is not the original power steering box in this car. Uh, it's a remanufactured. So remanufacturers typically will rate their pumps or build their pumps to the higher pressure limit just because it's easier to manufacture one pump than a bunch of different iterations of it. So that's why I believe this one has held together as long as it, it, as it did with no uh, leaks, nothing of that nature. But if you have an original box from the 60s, 70s, there's a high likelihood that the Hemi pump will overpower and cause your seals to blow out. So we went ahead and installed our lower pressure relief valve in the, uh, the body of the power steering pump. And now what we're going to do is give it a shot, crank it up, see how the inputs feel in the steering. We should notice a firmer feel than before with the lower pressure radio. radio. <laughs>
Blake's been uh, running the uh, new lower uh, power steering pressure uh, from the Toyota Echo um, for about two to three weeks now. Um, we're going to see uh, in the next video um, an update on what he thinks about it. Uh, he's definitely got uh, a, a more um, a resistance uh, whenever he's turning the wheel now because he's got the lower pressure. Uh, the Echo, as you can see here, is about 781 PSI. I think his old one, he said, was about 12 to 1300 because he got it from an 06 Charger, I believe. Um, so much heavier vehicle. Uh, so we'll see how he likes it and uh, see if he wants to make any changes, maybe move up to a little bit higher from one of these other models, um, higher pressure from one of these other models here. Uh, so we'll find out. Stick around. I appreciate everybody. Uh, hanging out with us. So we'll see you on the next one.